Why do you think um, support for the war in Ukraine, support for Ukraine's side in the war against Russia, support for a war against Russia in the West, is kind of the, the bottom line issue for the people who run the U.S. government and for the American media? Why? I mean, you, I guess you could argue about it, yep. but there isn't an argument about it in the United States. There's a position and anyone who doesn't hold it is attacked and punished. Why? Why is that so important? Well, the first thing I think we should all do is I think we should all give Putin credit for curing COVID, right? <laughs> because when his invasion happened, COVID went away. So I thought about that. Think about it. It's almost to the day. So we have to give him some credit, at least for doing that. He may be the bad guy of the world, but at least he cured COVID for everybody nearly instantly. Fair. Thank you. For, thank you, President Putin. Um, yeah, I, up until this point, never really commented too heavily on polit politics. Yes. But I understand very well, I like to believe what's happening with Ukraine and Russia. And what I will say to the people who are watching this at home is that if you are naive enough to believe that there are good guys and bad guys in wars, and it's as simple as good and bad, and that the bad guys are crazy, and the good guys want freedom, then you need to do a little bit more investigation into what's really happening. And when you look at the vested interest of any country or any person. Can I, can I just ask you to pause and just comment? That's the truest thing, what you just said. That is the, and anyone who doesn't understand that should shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I mean it, having seen war, anyone who's telling you that it's Churchill versus Hitler is an 